Just wonder how you reflect on your career over the last couple of years, because you've, you've, you've come so far, haven't you? Yeah, it's been um, a bit of a whirlwind, a few ups and downs, obviously, like everyone has, but I've, I've loved every minute of it, and I don't think I'd change any of it for the world um, in terms of the experiences I've had and um, lessons I've learned, and obviously just playing playing for the teams I've played for and, and playing in the games I've played, and I've, I've absolutely loved every minute of it, and I'm just you know trying my best to, to let that continue. Pinch yourself moments. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean, um, winning the Premiership with Leicester obviously is one of the big ones. Going to my first World Cup and obviously coming away with a medal, obviously not the medal we would like. But um, there are places I would never have dreamt of, of being or games I'd never have dreamt of playing in. So to have to have done it at this stage of my career, I'm obviously very proud of. I just hope I'm in, in some more of those games as we, as we get further down the line. Do you ever look around and think, what on earth am I doing here? Yeah, I do. Um, Steve speaks a lot actually about imposter syndrome, and I try not to to get it. But you do, I think you do. Like you, you play like in some of the games we played out in some of the stadiums you play. You just you sort of stand there. Sometimes you do have to take it in because I think if you don't, those sort of moments just sort of pass you by. But um, like I say, some of the experiences I've had and some of the people I've met and some of the people I've played against, you know, growing up and watching them on TV, and then all of a sudden they're stood the opposite side of the halfway line to you. It can be pretty surreal at times, but. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm getting used to it at all, but um, they've, those sort of occasions are happening more and more frequently, which can only be a good thing. How do you get better? What are you thinking about at the moment as a player? Uh, I think we're always trying to get better um, as an individual as a, and as a, as a player. Obviously, for me, um, set piece is a big, big, part of, big part of my game, so obviously trying to um, take that step forward. Back at club, having a bit more of a leadership role around that, which has been, which has been good for me in terms of line-out calling, but then you know, around the park, always trying to, to improve. Um, obviously, there's new systems we're working with here in England and different systems we've got back at club. But I'm just trying to be the best player I can for the team and um, sort of, you know, just building day by day, like on training fields, off the field, um, you know, just trying to improve as a player as a whole. There's a lot to take in, isn't there? Particularly when you're flitting from club to country. Do you enjoy that challenge? Yeah, I do. It can be, um, it can be challenging at times, um, especially when the systems aren't quite aligned. You know, obviously for me, before... You know, the coaching staff that are here were my club staff and they've obviously moved, so that transition was quite smooth. But now, obviously, we've got new coaches back at Leicester with, with Dan and we play a slightly distant system, a uh, different style of rugby, should I say. So um, it can be quite challenging, but that's all part and parcel of, of the game. And like you say, it can be enjoyable playing different styles of rugby. And um, Otherwise, I think it can get a bit monotonous and you, you want to challenge yourself, obviously. I don't know if your mates ever ask you to reassure them that England are heading in the right direction, but if they do, what, what would you say? What do you say? Um, I don't think we need to prove anything to, to anyone, really. Um, I think we, we owe it to ourselves. We need to prove to ourselves that we're trying to implicate what we're doing on the training field. But, um, you know, I think we're very confident as a group that, you know, the outside are going to start to, to see us, you know, change. And, you know, obviously everyone wants to see this flash style of rugby, but... Um, everyone also wants to see winning rugby and that's what we're trying to, trying to create here at, at England and um, I've got every confidence that that's the way we're going to go. You've been to Murrayfield but you've not played there, you're looking yes, forward to it. Yes, I am, I am. It's, um, you know, standing and, and hearing the anthems from the sideline isn't, isn't the same as, as being out there on the turf and, um, you know, getting off the bus and all the, the things that come with it, the, the bagpipes and the hostile crowd, you know, you you relish those moments as a player, you know, I spoke about have, having experienced special moments in my career, you know, those sort of experiences are just as special as the ones on the field. Um, you know, there's not many people that can say they're fortunate enough to, to be on a team bus and, and see all that. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to the, the occasion as well as the game. Stop Finn, stop Scotland. That simple? Um, I don't know if it's that simple because, um, you know, they've beaten us a few times recently. But, um, you know, we've, we've got our game plan. We've, we've trained it hard on the field, you know. And um, we're just going to go out there and, and, and have a swing. And, and hopefully, you know, what we've... We've tried to implicate in the week and what we've tried to train in the week will, will be executed and we can come away from Murrayfield with, with a win. I'm sure there'll be Scots this weekend telling you that they've never won four Calcutta Cups in a row. How, yeah. are you, how are you going to stop them? Well, I don't know, how, I don't know um, if I can spill those secrets, but um, <laughs> you know, I'm certainly hoping that we do stop them and, and we come home with the Calcutta Cup for sure.